continuing coverage of the 2018 Yonix Chinese Taipei Open. Still four more live matches for you to enjoy with us this afternoon. And next up, as you can see there, we've got a women's singles between Tai Zhu Ying, who's going to be, uh, as ever, a huge hit here, hugely popular. And Sonia Chea, ranked 37 in the world, seeded seven here. Facing the best woman in the world on current form. Tai Ying. She's won four tournaments this year. She's currently third in the rankings. Yamaguchi uh, at the head of affairs. Carolina Marin, who won uh, in China a couple of weeks ago. PV Sindhu. It's a it's a role of honour that top eight. Remember, go through to Guangzhou just before Christmas in those World Tour finals, so... That's how the women's singles draw has panned out. If you were with us earlier, you'll have seen Lena Karsfeldt come through against uh, Yip in straight games. As our Chinese Taipei colleagues continue to speak to their audience. Clearly, Tyson Ying is a, a huge favourite in this match, but we've seen plenty of upsets so far this year and a few this week as well in terms of uh, seeds going tumbling. See the officials on their way to our TV court. This third match of the day. So player introductions about to be made to the, the players. crowd here. Huge applause for Tai Zhu Ying. Nothing whatsoever against Sonia Chea, but not sure how many fans she's going to have in the auditorium today. Four love in their head-to-head uh, -head so far, most recently in the Japan Open just a few weeks ago, yep. where okay. Taiwan won reasonably comfortably. Not, not a walkover by any means, but looking that much danger. <laughs> Trying to win this event for a fourth time 2012, 2013, 2016. Just 18 when she won the first of those. Only 23 now. Four tournament wins this year, including two 1,000 events in Birmingham and Jakarta. 31 match winning run this year. Asian Games gold. Well, just business as usual, really. She did drop one game against uh, you in the first round since then. It's been plain sailing, to say the least. You can see 22 and 25 minutes, respectively, in round two and in the quarter final. And on the other side of the net, Malaysia's Sonia Chair has been as high as 23. That was uh, just a year ago, just over a year ago. She's got fond memories, actually, of uh, Chinese Taipei. She won a World Junior title here 
way back when in 2011. Never won a, what you call a major tournament. She won a couple of international events a few years ago. Yet to drop a game so far here, but obviously this is the biggest test that she's faced by a distance. Older sister Lydia is also a professional player. She did make one final last year. She ended up runner-up in the Russian Open. But it would be a major surprise if she took down Tai Zhu Ying. Zhao from New Zealand, Jitrut from Kaparat of Thailand are the two in charge here. <laughs> Cheering you can hear as there's a men's doubles match on the other court. We'll be down to one court tomorrow for the finals you'll be able to see all five of them live right here ladies and gentlemen on our right Tai Zi Yi Chinese Thailand and on my left Sonia Xia Malaysia So here we go for the second women's semi-final. As I mentioned, when she's played here, Tazi uh, Ying, she's dealt with the pressure pretty well because there has, as you can imagine, a lot of expectation on her shoulders. Expected to win this tournament, best in the world, seeded one. And she has been champion three times in this event. I think she'd probably be honest enough to admit she's not maybe been quite at her best this week but I like the decision to play that it's that time of the year though we're into October now we had the world championships in the middle of the summer then we had the Asian Games a lot of these players were in China a big event there some in Korea so you know there are going to be some tired players around no question Just to take the pace off. Class shot. She's got great imagination. Wonderful hands. And she enjoys playing here at home. And somehow Sonia Che has got to find a way to counter all of that. Good luck. And that's just, uh, well, given us. Long, close to me. And that's 
definitely wider the sideline. Three. Misjudgment from Chair. Well, it looks like she's enjoying herself, and that's good to see, because the crowd is certainly having some fun. And if uh, that woman in front, and playing some really attractive stuff too. A couple of marvellous backhands in that whilst rally as well from Kaiser Yu. Just at times you get the impression she's kind of almost toying with on your chair, bringing her in, dragging her back, finding a way to win most of the points at the moment. Close, was it? Way in. Nothing that Sonia Che could do about it. Attention, please. In order not to interfere with the match, make sure you turn off the flashlight during matches. Thank you for your cooperation. Good leave. Just had to try and. Break that run of losing a point somehow. Nine. And generally, the way it works with Tai Zuying is as the game gets longer, the rally she, win, she wins gets shorter. Obviously, the opponent tires during the course of a match, but she's been giving uh, Sonia Che the runaround for the first. Well, they've only played about six or seven minutes. Well played by Sonia Chair. Very well played. And extremely, extremely brave to stay in the rally at all. And in the end, force the error. That's long. So, a decent lead, 11-6 at the interval for the world number one. And probably 
a very fair reflection on what we've seen so far this match. So can Sonia Chair come up with any answers here? You'd have to say from the evidence of that. First seven or eight minutes of action, it looks unlikely, but I'll say never. And what you don't need when you're playing the world number one is <laughs> they have the breaks as well in the net cord. I think she was trying to get to that, and it was called wide, and there is a challenge, and I, I'm not surprised. It's definitely going for this, so if it was wide, it's a big break for Tosu Yi. The fact that she was trying to get it will tell you that it was pretty close. Trying to clip the line. Did clip the line. Hit that pretty hard, but also hit it wide. So give Sonia, uh, Sonia Chair a bit of credit here for trying to battle back into this match. They all count. I think it was the, in the South African golfer Gary Player who once famously said, it's funny, the more I practice, the luckier I get. Oh, it was a wonderful touch. That really was. That was almost an exhibition shot. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, it's not that far away from it. Even Sonia Chair was smiling. It wasn't that far away from her, but she had no chance. The crowd thought that last shot from Chair was going out, but when I played it, that's definitely going out. Leave. Ten, That's at no stage she's been able to get close enough in points there is a challenge from Sonia Chair I don't think she thinks there's much chance of success it just has two in this game it's out by a long way
Yeah, gets a very good lead. See, a lot of players play that kind of a, of a shot. And so intent on getting to it, but that was clearly wide of the sideline. And Tso Su Ying, excellent concentration. Make sure of the point. Even with the drift, that wasn't going to come back quite enough. Drift going from right to left as you look, and from front to back. And that's a good lead from chair this time. Yes, found that from somewhere. Maybe not quite dead and buried in this opening game yet, the Malaysian. Hard to tell. Either way, her point. Got ahead early. Ying, and although Chair has threatened a couple of times, she's never really got close enough points-wise to to really worry Taizu Ying. And this was the case the last time they met as well. Two games that went 21-18 sounds kind of close, but not as close as you would think. Just looking at the uh, scoreboard, that's another terrific lead as well. She very nearly played that. Last-minute decision was a good one. Just a couple of points away then from securing the opening game in this second women's semi-final. A difficult call for that gentleman. Oh, that's a nice touch from Chet. to try at least and put a, a spoke in the script from your chair and again it was she got such a steep trajectory on the shot the chair was almost struggling After some 17 minutes on court, four game points for the world number one. One was all she needed. 21 points to 16. The opening game. Totally deserved too. Yeah, yeah, 
So what can Sonia Chair find to maybe try and redress the balance in the second game? Thought about leaving that. Matter in the end. Hasn't made too many errors of judgment in the match, but that was one of them. Thought fleetingly about a challenge, and she was so close to that she knew it had dropped in. Just been a waste of a challenge, really. Almost surprised when she misses by as big a margin as that. Such are the ridiculously high standards that she sets. Just no let up for her opponent, is there? And it's what ties you in just so well. Try and put a stranglehold on the game early, get a big lead at the interval. Just as she did in the first game. And 21 16, it sounds you know, like it might have been close, but it wasn't really. And I don't think Sonia Chair could look back and, thought, and think, yeah, I had loads of chances, because she didn't. That's good. And it's exactly what you see again, just stretching that lead now. Think from memory, she had 11 6 at the interval in the first game. And the way it's going, maybe a similar margin here. Oh. 
Hull. I'm just going to have a look at this uh, via Hawkeye. It's called out. Might just fancy a breather, or she might genuinely think there's a chance of overturning this. wasn't that far behind the net. And it was just a wonderful touch. Of a craftsman. That really was brilliant. Sometimes those shots just as appreciated as the spectacular jump smashes with the crowd inside the auditorium and she's winning points at will now. She is starting to struggle. Seven four then at the interval. Tai Zhu Ying in complete control apparently. Turn here, a game down, 11 4 down. Sometimes yeah. Ying's smiling there because she might have left that previous shot from yeah. Chaya. That one chose to play it. Once the deception play didn't come off. She's entitled to miss the odd one. And just when Chair gets a, a little glimmer of hope by winning two points in a row, her opponent produces this. Challenge and then decided against it. Well, Chan not having to do much to win a few points here. And there's a couple more. I'll give her a bit of renewed hope. Before that, Tyson can have a little bit of 
concentration issues sometimes. Just loses focus for a short period of time. And from 11 4 down at the interval, chance back to just three points of drift now at 12 9. And that's the problem if you if you do lose focus, it's hard to get it back. Just searching for a, a bit of rhythm here. But no question, Sonia Chow right in this game. From a, what looked a pretty hopeless position at the interval. She won't be happy with that, obviously. That is a gift. Just when she was starting to put a little bit of pressure on Tai Zi Ying for arguably first time in the match. Now well played. Time she's done that. It's infuriating. Maybe a bit of adrenaline, but whatever it is, that was trailer. It's a terrific shot again by Chen. Yeah. Make sure the the serve's legal. That'd be the first thing here. was a, a bit of a help but she's playing much better and I think you, you could easily make Che a favorite in this game now she's come from 11-4 down Tai Zhu Ying's lost concentration certainly anyone's and from a scenario where it looked like a, almost a formality that Tai Zhu Ying was going to win in straight games not the case anymore Decision to let it go. That was a little bit tentative from Chair. Good though. Well inside the sideline. Shot and give Sonia Chea plenty of credit here. Playing against the world number one in her own backyard, having lost the opening game 21 16, could easily have folded. Instead, she is putting up a terrific battle. And just a point behind that. that Tai Zhu Ying are very happy just to fall over the line. Not really her style, but she's been nowhere near as dominant in this game as she was in the first, even though she's ahead by a couple of points.
Rare error. And that kind of range from Kaiser Yinch is normally nigh on perfect on those hairpins. Well, she's still giving Chair encouragement. It hasn't been the same since they came back from that interval. Chair must be quietly thinking, we've got chance here. Attention, please. In order not to interfere with the match, make sure you turn off your flashlight during matches. Thank you for your cooperation. And that mistake brings Chea level. Just tightening up a bit, maybe, Tai Zhu Ying. And Sonia Chea closing in on levelling the match here. Ranked 36 spots behind her opponent. She's out of position there. It's out, and Chaya's big favourite now in this game. Ying has lost her favourite, her focus, Taisu Ying. She was always second best in that rally. Made that one. Made that one. Almost relief as well as appreciation. Going on's game here. Got a bit too good. Match point. It's wide, and she struggled across the line in the end. Tai Zhu Yin, 21-19 in that second game. Terrific in the first game. Second game, not so good, but she'll take it. And she's through to the final, 38 minutes to match time. A chance to win her fifth event of the season tomorrow afternoon and on home soil as well. She wins 21-16, 21-19. First men's semi-final comes next. <laughs> 